happy frugal February, everyone. For the next 28 days, I'm going to be super frugal. And every time I stop myself from wasting money, I'm going to transfer that money into a separate online savings account and watch it add up. Now, I would love for you to join in with me. So every time you do something to save some money, make sure you take a photograph and tag at Sugar Mama and hashtag Frugal February. I can then share it with absolutely everyone and we can all motivate, inspire and encourage each other to be really conscious and mindful in the way that we spend money. And let's see exactly how much money we can really save by being frugal. Frugal February, off to a good start. We have freshly made berry smoothies by Tom, saving money already. So just across the road is the dairy. It's on Bondi Road. This place sells the most amazing chocolate chip cookies, cookie dough, and mixed berry muffins. I have the biggest craving for one of their muffins right now. However, it's not in the spirit of Frugal February, so I'm gonna do a U-turn and just keep going to work. Delicious frugal snack, an apple and almond butter and packed full of nutritional value. Cook once, eat twice, or maybe even thrice. So this week I'm really making a conscious effort to eat up all the bits in our fridge and freezer. And I found one of these Woolworths lamb shoulders. Now it was $17, which isn't exactly frugal. Lamb is expensive in Australia. But this is really great value. It's so quick and easy. You literally put it in the oven for half an hour in the plastic bag and you get a lot of bang for your buck. So this is what I've made. Two lamb salads with roasted vegetables, eating up all the bits. But I've also prepared some for tomorrow, which I'm going to add in. And after filling Tom's and my salad up with lamb, look how much is left over. Now, on top of this, on the box, which I discovered, which I never would normally properly read, it actually has a few different ideas as to what to do with this lamb dish. You can actually turn it into Hasselback potatoes, make a wild rice salad, which sounds delicious, or serve it with roasted pumpkin, actually maple buttered roasted pumpkin. So it's just about getting creative, making the most of your meats, letting them stretch out to as many meals as possible. And obviously there is so much meat left here. That's gonna serve for lunch for me and Tom tomorrow. So we've actually made it stretch it out to four meals, which in the scheme of things for $17 for meals, it's actually really good value for money. At the beginning of every month, I treat myself to a very basic manicure and pedicure. No color for my nails, just a cut and file and shape. And then on my toes, just a really basic pedicure. Now this month I'm going to be doing it myself and I discovered these polishes, they're by SC, I think you just get them from Priceline. They're really cheap and they're gel and they are foolproof when they go on. I'm a massive amateur at this, but this makes it so much easier. And there is at least 30 to $40 worth of saving just like that. One of the best things about clearing out your freezer is discovering that at the back of your freezer is the world's best homemade cheesecake made by your incredible neighbors that you had completely forgotten about. I'm so happy right now. I'm going to eat this with a spoon in bed. At the beginning of every month, I treat myself to a early bird special one hour massage and it costs $75 and it's a great way to start the month. Anyway, for frugal February, I'm skipping it. And instead, Rocco is giving me a back massage 10 minutes for $5. So I'm pretty happy with these savings. Pre-prepared mango smoothies, kindly made by Physio Tom. One for Apple, one for me, one for Tom, and one for Rocco. Saving money as soon as we get out of bed. Offer snacks for everyone to share and save money. We've got licorice, we've got nuts, we've got chocolate, we've got almond butter, we've even got collagen liquid. Saving money and taking care of our skin at the same time. Today is my day off, just hanging out with Apple, being a stay-at-home mum for the day. Normally we would go for a walk, grab a juice and a coffee and a muffin, maybe even some lunch later on, but it's frugal February, so we're not doing that. Instead, this morning I've already made homemade pikelets, not sure how they'll turn out, and we're just gonna hang out at home, eat as much as we need, and then we'll go for a walk. So we leave the house with a full tummy, reducing temptation to spend. All right, a big shout out for a company called For My Earth. 
If you buy cling wrap but hate it and you think it's a waste of money, can I recommend that you go and invest in a set of these? They're about, I think, $40. They look like shower caps, but they're shower caps for your food. You simply put them over the top of bowls to keep food fresher for longer. In fact, that's where I actually got my bread bag from. So really cute, really easy. They come in a whole range of different colors and patterns and sizes, but they're reusable. You can wash them by hand or throw them in the washing machine. And we've had ours for over a year and we barely use any cling wrap or whatsoever. So great for the environment and saving money. Long term though. I know. You know you are frugal when you cut open your favorite decollete cream. Now I was squeezing the life out of this little oh. tube. So I decided to cut it open and lo and behold, so much more product left inside. Mm. Just proves the point. There are always opportunities to save money. At the beginning of every month, I do one large upfront online order for all the bulky items such as dog food, nappies, formula, and things that I can't get from my local supermarkets. I also included in this amount, I try and budget a weekly grocery allowance of between $250 and $300. Now, because we have eaten up all the bits in our freezer, I have still managed to not go over budget, but I've stayed on budget. Now, normally this would really dishearten me because I'm like, oh, I you know, was so frugal by eating everything up in our freezer, eating up all the vegetables, literally everything. However, my mindset is so much different this time. I'm actually grateful for the fact that we had so much in our freezer that we could rely on. I'm also grateful for the fact now our freezer is looking empty so I can start again from scratch in food planning and food preparing. And also, now that I've done this big monthly upfront order, hopefully for the next couple of weeks, all my frugal hacks that I'm developing all the time and getting great hacks from you guys by sharing on Instagram, I'm going to hopefully save even more money now for the rest of frugal February. It's all about mindset, not letting things that go wrong dishearten you or stop you. You've got to keep going and look for the lesson and look for the positivity. Four days in a row of no spending. Four days in a row of taking my lunch to work. Four days in a row of exercising self-control and mindfulness every time I feel tempted to buy something and spend money. I'm loving seeing how quickly the savings add up in my separate savings account. I'm also loving the realization that I have so much more self-control than I actually realized. Now, tomorrow is my reward day. I am taking myself to lunch. In fact, I'm catching up with my girlfriends for lunch. There is a chance that because the cafe we've picked is a little bit more expensive than what I budgeted, so I may go slightly over, and that's okay because I can take it out of my weekend allowance. Also, I've told my girlfriends that I'm doing Frugal February so that they know I'm not going to go nuts in ordering everything on the menu. I'm also driving and won't be drinking. So I'm absolutely loving this new enlightenment and mindfulness that's coming from Frugal February. So I'm looking at joining a new gym, but I'm not ready to sign up to any crazy expensive gym membership. I'm happy to just like shop around pay casually each time I go and see if I actually use it before I sign up to anything. Anyway, I was going to try one of my local gyms, which is $30 per visit. I subscribed to their website beforehand and they actually called me and offered me a free visit. So I just saved $30. It is Friday. It is reward day. And I'm so excited because I am off to go and have lunch with my girlfriends. Now, this week alone, I have managed to save, after paying Rocco, $210 this week just by being frugal. And to be honest, I am really proud of this. So I can enjoy lunch guilt-free, but also I'm a little bit embarrassed and ashamed. That is a lot of money that I have managed to save simply, mostly this week on food habits and doing things myself. Not being lazy, but making a little bit of extra effort to save money because it really pays off. Now, don't forget, you can jump in at any time during the month of February and do Frugal February with me. Just make sure every time you do something that's frugal, take a photo, tag at Sugar Mama and hashtag Frugal February. I will then go and share what you're doing with everyone else because your hacks, your ideas, your tips are helping support and encourage and inspire the whole community of people who are trying to save money this month. 
so we all become financially fitter and healthier. And of course, next Sunday, I'll be publishing another vlog, letting you know new frugal hacks that I am discovering and new habits that I'm forming. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now.